Hey guys, my name's Pete and welcome to The Verge. Today I'm looking at a really cool 3D modeling software called Gravity Sketch and you can do the modeling in virtual reality. So you're in a 3D environment making 3D stuff. It's recently become free so that's on the Quest and on the PC, Oculus and Steam VR. So uh, let's check it out. Hey guys, here I am running uh, Gravity Sketch natively on the Quest and this is just a little project I started uh, it's a volcano uh, it's going to be an asset in a program, uh, game, um, board game I'm um, creating a game for so let's have a look, let's turn the layers off so basically I started with a sketch. I'm using mirror mode, perhaps I shouldn't have. And I'm just trying to figure out which is the best way to get a surface on this. Um, this is my third attempt. So let's turn that sketch off. So this is the outline of the volcano itself. And um, yeah, then I've added some snow. And I'm going to add some lava and clean it up. It's, um, the edges aren't right. That's where I'm trying to figure out what are the best surface to use in Gravity Sketch. So as far as functionality, um, the main one I've found is when you export it, you can export it in OBJ and IGS to keep the colour, but you can't export it on FBX um, yet. But on the Oculus PC version, you can. So it's a limitation of the build for uh, Android. It doesn't support that format. So what else have we got? Usual stuff. Um, and brushes are all the same. Um, I'll see what kind of differences I can pick up when I use the PC version of it. Um, yeah, so Gravity Sketch is awesome, of course you can walk around in it, um, make it bigger, smaller, um, you can um, walk in, oops, you have to be a wee bit careful of your play space, so you can be inside of it, walk outside, etc, etc, and yeah, just being able to be in a virtual 3D space and create a virtual crater 3D shape is uh, way better than trying to do it on the flat screen in my opinion. Anyway, let's uh, check out the Oculus PC version. Okay, here we are in the Oculus PC version of Gravity Sketch and my first attempt at a volcano. Now, um, there are a few differences. It's been a complete feature port, apart from the orthographic view, which is only on the PC version. And you can arrange these willy-nilly if you need to. Um, but apart from that, um, it's a pretty, the features have been ported to the Quest, which is amazing. Um, also, on the PC version, you have shadows. So here's my volcano. Turn off some layers, and you can see the shadows of the layer. So I'll compare this with the standalone native Quest version. Um, oh, that's awesome. It shows in the orthographic views as well. So, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, it's um, on the Quest version, you can have bigger sketches if you've got more memory. So the Quest 2 is slightly better and it's a slightly better processor. Um, but on the PC version, um, you're not particularly limited uh, for memory, so um, depending on your machine. Yeah, so that's probably the main uh, 
difference between this PC version. So to install the PC Quest version, I had to actually have it tethered first, installed it on the Oculus, the Oculus version on my PC, had it tethered, then I could run virtual desktop using the Oculus version, which is what I'm doing. So I'm wireless running the PC version. Um, be having more memory, shadows, um, the responsivity seems to be about the same. Um, like I said, without the shadows, there's a lot less work on the Quest version. So um, I'll just quickly show you the Steam version, which doesn't work, and then we'll skip to the outro. Let's check it out. Unfortunately, the Steam version doesn't work. You just end up with these stupid controllers that don't do nothing. And I've pushed all the buttons, and I can't figure out how it works. So that's a bust. Well, I hope you like that. If so, hit subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what I can do better, and most importantly, hit subscribe and get some more content on Gravity Sketch along with a whole lot of other stuff I do. Anyway, see you later.